I'm just not sure how to grow on there because I have a following from like high school and so Ooh. it's like a fear of like judgmental people. If you write your heart out and you speak your mind and someone says, no, what the fuck? I don't agree with this. What would happen? I don't know, probably nothing. Nothing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade, and today we're answering your deepest, darkest questions about social media. I am an entrepreneur, and I've been helping people grow on their Instagram, but my favorite thing ever has been calling you guys up, and this is the Ask Jade Show. That was like one of the weirdest intros. Okay, to be honest, this is a weird video because as you can tell from this title, I actually have a special guest. My meal, my lunch, my fucking lunch. If you don't know what a mukbang is, it's just like this eating show that's really popular, gets millions of views. I have no fucking idea why. People order like fancy meals, McDonald's, like fast foods and things. So my mom actually made me a home cooked meal. So this is actually a mukbang that's even more personal. My mom fucking made this, okay? It's chicken and spinach and some sauce. Cause I'm healthy, kind of, not really. I actually have a brownie that I actually half ate because I was starving. I just realized my bed sheets are white, so this is a really bad idea. Anyways, we're gonna dive right into this video and uh, start with the first color and I'm gonna dig into my meal. Let's get into it. I'm really hungry. <laughs> I know some of you guys don't like mukbangs. I'm really sorry if you don't like mukbangs. You're gonna hate this video. Heck yeah, first color, let's go. Hey, you're on the Ask Jade show. No freaking way. <laughs> How are you doing, Frank? What's up? Where are you from? I'm doing awesome. Um, I live in the Ivory Coast right now. South Africa, dude. What's one thing that no one knows about South Africa? It's not as, it's not as like poor as people actually think. Like, it does like pretty advanced. Like the country where I'm in, we're the number one producer in cocoa. Whoa, Frank. I think I remember you. This is side note, Darmination, but. Frank actually applied for one of my giveaways, and I just want to say thank you for sharing, brother. Um, I'll link it below if you guys want to check. How can I help you, brother? Um, so yeah, like, um, I've been, I've been trying to grow my personal brand, trying to do daily lives and like all the my school life. Mm -hmm. so I'm just really trying to know how to organize all of that and still keep on track with school a bit. Ooh, okay. I have a hack. What do you currently use? Do you see like a notebook? Yeah, I do. I do journal a bit and I have like sticky notes all over my computer. So do I. <laughs> what I recommend is every month, this is what I do with my YouTube, I actually have never shared this before, but what you wanna do is you have a lot of ideas, right? The problem is how do you pick the ones that are, how do you prioritize? Like every month you write down everything you wanna possibly make. My list has been sometimes 50 videos. And then you write, you prioritize the ones by going to use a any SEO tool, like Google Trends <laughs> will tell you what's the highest performing out of the ones. So you plug in the words like what a day in my life, versus uh, what I eat in a day. It tells you based on those keywords what performs better on searches so you don't have to play a guessing game of what's gonna get more traction. If you want something that gets views and actually progresses your channel, I really look into SEO because that's how you get organic traffic. Yeah, uh, I just really want to thank you because you like give out one of, like the best type of knowledge and like it's really cool to be able to relate to someone as young as me too. How old are you? I'm 16. Shoot! Oh, that's so cool. All right, Frank. I'm gonna hit you up when I'm in the when I'm in South Africa. No Everyone, problem. go follow Frank. Just quick, right? Yeah. yeah. West West Africa. West Africa. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. I'm a dropout. I don't know geography at all. I'm so sorry. All right, Frank. Have a good day. <laughs> that's actually embarrassing. I said South Africa. The Ivory Coast is West Africa. Someone put a graph here. I'm sorry. You guys don't even know, but I actually do read every single comment. I know I say that, but I, I legitimately read every single YouTube comment, every single Instagram. If you're just joining on here, you don't know who the fuck I am. I'm not like a typical uh, social media guru that just gives value. Like I genuinely want to have a relationship with you guys. So Frank, I'm so excited to possibly meet you in the future. I'm definitely going to see you and thank you so much for just supporting me. Ooh! All right, guys, we're going to go to the second caller. I hope you guys like my little tip. Um, before I go into the second color though, I want to share something. I don't know if you see a difference in the audio quality. Some of you guys don't know, but currently I'm 17. I've been doing YouTube for seven years. I've never had the right equipment. I've literally been so broke in my life. Like I used to have to fucking hijack Final Cut Pro to edit my videos because I couldn't even afford buying an actual editor. But fast forward, I've learned so much how you can build businesses on top of social. And throughout that, brands who support my channel have sent me stuff. And this is not just any stuff, okay? I know equipment's not cheap, and I know you guys are on the hunt for looking for the best equipment. This is not sponsored, but if you can tell, I actually have a Lavier mic. This is the audio quality that Gary V uses, okay? I just wanna say thank you to Comica Microphones for sending me this package. I know this kind of looks like a sketchy box. It basically looks like this, and it comes with one 
Fillmore uh, receiver. And if you guys just want microphones, check out comment up below. Audio quality is by far better than any like other Rode mic. The audio you hear is coming from this, which is transmitting and it's wireless and you can stand for like up to three quarters of a mile. It's like really freaking far. I, don't, I might have to do like another test. If you guys want to see more videos about audio equipment and just what I use, let me know. But that's what I'm kind of hooked up right now and I really love it. Thank you so much, Kambaka. Check it below. First impression of this product was, holy shit, this build feels really good. It doesn't feel like it's like flimsy. I know a lot of other wireless transmitters might be like cheap, but like fucking cheap and like plastic. But this is literally like... I have no idea what material this is, but thank you so much, Kamika. I really appreciate it. Not coming from much and having brands that support me means the world. I love you. Yeah. Hi, you're on the Ask Jade show. <laughs> What's up, Sam? This is Sam, guys. Am I, am I on the show? Yeah, you're actually on the show. No way. So you decide to call me now and you decide to call me later? Oh my god, don't even call me out like that, no. Sam. You know I'm busy. I know you're busy. I know you're a YouTube star. <laughs> okay, so funny story, guys. Me and Sam are friends from, like, I don't even know how. <laughs> but we've been talking on Instagram for so long, and this is the first time I'm talking to him, so he's kind of salty. Jade is super, you know, she's a celebrity, and she doesn't want to, he doesn't want to give me any time. This is basically what's happening. This is the thing about Jade. She, she comments on my picture, <laughs> and says, I'm so sorry, I should have called you. And then I send her a message saying, yeah, okay, let's finally link. And then I send her, and she doesn't get back to me. No, it's, it sounds really shady, but trust me, I actually... <laughs> Tell them what you do, because... I think everyone wants to know, Sam, because you're super important, more important than me. I run a, I run a brand management company. We, we do, we do social media for brands, and we host events. <laughs> So cool. So, do you want to ask you a question? Yeah. No. You. I mean, you can. I don't really care. What is BBJ, and how does that work? So if you guys saw, that was Sam, my friend, um, and I make a lot of friends online. I just want to actually give you some context. Like I literally met Sam doing one of my own strategies, which I'm going to share right now. So if you ever want to grow on Instagram, you don't want just followers. You actually want to build connections. I feel like, like a lot of us are kind of lonely in this space. So I want you to just literally take that as evidence of how you can actually make legitimate friends. The way I did it was I DM Sam. Actually, I should pull up the DMs. Go on my other friend's followers and start interacting with those followers. This might sound kind of shady, but all I do really is once I meet and I like that person, I'll just go on their followers and just kind of finesse my way and kind of connect with those people. If I like you, I probably will like your friends because y'all are like-minded. So Sam was actually someone that I did when I went on another profile. Maybe pretend his name is Jack. I went on Jack's followers and started like liking and commenting on their photos. And if I really connected and I saw, hey, I maybe we're at the same event, I literally just shot a DM to Sam saying, hey Sam, I saw we were connected by Jack, our mutual friend, and that's legitimately how I made my online. I'm not joking, that's actually what I did. I will put a screenshot up there. Okay, next caller. I just realized mukbangs are supposed to like show the food, and the entire time the food was cut out the frame. So I'm gonna slide this a little closer. So I hope you can see my food now. Jade, I'm gonna pee myself. If this is Jade, I hope you don't pee in yourself, because it's Jade and the Ask Jade show. Well, on my Instagram, I'm just not sure how to grow on there. I guess it's just because I have a following from like high school, and so Ooh. it's like a fear of like judgmental people too, you know what I mean? <laughs> So here's the thing about the high school friends. I've been there, girl. If people that are like your friend circles are the most, the majority of your followers, it's extremely hard to freaking be an influencer because people are gonna be like, who does she think she is, you know? So that's yeah. that's a whole nother thing. Have you bypassed it or is it still sometimes getting to you? I don't even know like how to honestly be my true self. It's not that you don't know how to do it. Do you think you just don't, you don't want to express it? Like what's the problem here? Well, I guess I just like, I don't know. It's a picture and I don't really put a caption. Yeah, um, why, why is, I, I noticed that, why is that, why is that? Something encouraging, but yet I don't want someone to, maybe like if they don't agree with it. Okay, so let's talk about that. Me. If you write your heart out and you speak your mind and someone says, no, what the fuck, I don't agree with this, what would happen? I don't know, probably nothing. Honestly. Nothing, you know why? Because your engagement will probably go up and Instagram will honestly reward you. If anything, it's going to boost your post. What else? What, is, what, what yeah, else is the fear? Mm, I guess it's also like, you know, I feel like everyone on Instagram, they kind of just have their own thing about them. It's like, I'm trying to put my YouTube out there in a different way, you know, I'm trying to be just different. Okay, that's also I'm bullshit because sure when you come, okay, so yes, I like that fact though. Originality is important, but here's the thing. My, my whole rant about originality is really 
hard because you gotta stand out. But in the very beginning, right? Like, when you come out of the womb, you don't fucking become original, you know, Gabriella. You learn from your mom and dad, right? Like, I think originality is exactly yeah. that. It's really weird, but you don't need to um, find Gabriella's thing. Like, I am. Kylie Jenner invented big lips, now I gotta find my thing. Like, that took a long time for Kylie. Have you heard of the book? I've talked about it so much, but it's called Steal Like an Artist. No, I haven't. Oh my god, okay, you're gonna love it. What part of Texas are you from? Miguel. Where's that? I'm from I'm from Austin. I used to live in Austin, so I don't know where that is. I actually thought you were doing a meetup in Texas, and I, where are you gonna be in Texas so I can freaking come? Oh, I, sure. I was in Austin, the Fairmont Hotel. I'm so sorry I missed you, but next time I'm going to be there. Everyone, go follow Gabriella on Instagram if you want to check her out. Um, I'm all about supporting uh, everybody. If you actually, if anyone follows Darma Nation, if you follow Gabriella, comment below Darma Nation, and then she'll know you came from this video. Um, here's the page I wanted to share with you. We learn to write by copying down the alphabets. Musicians learn to play by practicing scales. Painters learn to paint by reproducing masterpieces. Remember, even the Beatles started as a cover band. So when you think about that, the Beatles started as a cover band. Don't be afraid of literally taking titles or YouTube videos that you like from other people. That's not copying, you know? That's literally like adding your own spin to it to get more inspiration from people. And then, then you can see that, hey, if 20 other people are successful and they're writing long ass captions, maybe I should too, because it works for them. So I would learn from successful people for sure. I hope this was helpful, girl. Dude, I love you so, so much. True. Thank you so much. I love you. Have a great day. For you guys, I'm gonna try to do one more caller. And if you're so far enjoying this video right now, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. We do this, we literally have a party every single week. I give value and we talk and it's really fun. And don't forget to turn on post notifications. Oh my god. What's up, dude? Hi. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, it's Kataya. I'm from LA. I'm actually currently eating because it's like a mukbang slash ass day show. So if you have any questions for the video, for like content, let me know. See, I've been doing YouTube lately. I don't really have any questions right now. Maybe is there any advice you could give me? Hell yeah, I'm gonna roast your account. Do you mind? Okay, first of all, I like your back to school outfits from Goodwill. That's a really good, okay, first of all, the way I look at and judge people's accounts is based on how smart you are with selecting keywords. Nice to you selecting that back to school trend, I got you. Okay, my biggest tip, keep anything in text super centered. So for example, opening a vintage shop in LA, you wanna move it centralized because you know the human eye likes to like that visual. And the second thing is if your face can be bigger, I'm not saying you have to be like the Jake Paul, like, like clickbait, like with the flames in the back, but. David Dobrik, right? Just keep everything really centralized. For example, your head, honestly, we want to see more of it. So I think adding expression and those like titles really helps that clickability. So guys, you know, I'm the owner of PBJ app, which helps you grow on social media. We're launching actually our training program for 12 weeks of free content to your messenger. All about Instagram, how to grow your burning questions, algorithms. And it's basically just my exclusive content to you guys. So go sign up. I actually do want to make one more important announcement. Basically, when I hit 100K subscribers, I wanted to give you guys a chance to meet me. I was to fly you out and we're gonna have a meeting just a full day together it took a fucking long time so many good entries and i want to recap it all i just want to shout out everyone who entered it was such a hard thing to pick because how do you go through everyone's journeys and stories and just pick one person what i'm gonna do is if you entered i'm gonna compile all your names and put you guys in a dm group an exclusive engagement group not only just to like each other's photos and shit like that's just the last thing but just to actually get to know each other who are on the similar journey i think if you feel alone you don't have anyone doing what you're doing and the people at school think you're stupid and you don't have that community online. I really want to provide that to you. That's called the Darm Nation, which is this YouTube subscriber community, and I want to thank you. So, with that being said, so all of you guys are technically winners. Sorry, that's really cheesy. It's really hard to pick one, but the winner of the 100K giveaway, drumroll please, is Ashley Nicole. Yay! Okay, Ashley, you're gonna be with me October 20th in LA. I'm gonna fly you down, and we're gonna have a great time together with my film team, make content, I'll honestly get to the root of how you're gonna grow your brand. Um, if you guys like these type of giveaways where I do literally one-on-one -on -one and interact, the more we grow together as a community, the more I can feel these giveaways and stuff like that. So make sure you go share this video. Shout out to the winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you guys want to be the next winner, all you gotta do is comment below. Okay, I'm gonna fucking go. Everyone here wants me out of my house because reconstruction doesn't stop. Bye!